So now I'd like to welcome to the WVCR studio a special guest, John McEnany. He is Sienna class of 1992. Uh, he is the artistic director of Piper Theater Productions down in Brooklyn. And more recently, he is the author of a play titled The Lincoln Dress, uh, which is coming right to our backyard in the Capital Region. And I think even more interestingly, John happens to be my cousin. So welcome yeah. to WVCR. Thank you so much for your time today. Thank you, Cousin Cody. Thanks for uh, talking with me. Absolutely. Uh, so tell me about The Lincoln Dress. What do viewers have to look forward to? My sister, Maeve, is a... Uh... She loves Albany folklore, and she loves ghost stories. Um, and she told me a story uh, about Major Henry Rathbone and his fiancée, Clara Harris, who were in the presidential box in Ford's Theater when John Wilkes Booth shot the 16th president, um, and a dress, a dress that um, they brought back to Albany because both of them were from Albany. And uh, the lore is that it was bricked up in uh, Loudoun College, and right out by Siena College. And then they went away to Germany, and he went mad, and he shot her in front of their children and tried to kill himself. So he spent the rest of his entire life in a insane asylum. And then the lore is that uh, many years later, uh, their son, who was a senator at the time, decided that their source of all their problems was the, um, the dress itself. So he ordered the bricks to come down and when the bricks came down, they couldn't find the dress. And this story was, um, in 1931, was turned into a short story called The White Satin Dress by Mary Raymond Shipman Andrews, which is very popular. And so what we're doing is we're going to tell the story, and we're going to use physical theater, and it's going to be a story about the legacy of the Civil War and racial and class disparity in the 1930s Albany. And we're going to tell a story about these four thieves that actually steal the dress and then how the dress haunts each one of them. Wow, that is a very interesting story and a very neat local connection. Um, I do love my local history myself, so I'm definitely looking forward to it. Now, Yeah, Claire was the daughter of an assemblyman and later the Senator Ira Harris. And um, Henry's mother married Ira Harris after her husband's death, so they were almost raised as adult brothers and sisters. Wow, that is super interesting. Um, I love all of these local and even national connections. Uh, really, the telling of a story uh, that I'm sure will interest many. Now, to my understanding, this is the world premiere. That's pretty exciting, too, that in our own little Foy Theater here at Siena College, we have a world premiere of a world-class story. But that is just the beginning for the Lincoln Dress. Are there further performances in the work? Yeah, we're going to do um, June 28th and 29th at 8 p.m. and the 30th at 2 p.m. at Siena, and then July 8th, 9th, and 10th at 8 p.m. at the Old Stone House in Washington Park. And then we have an invitation to uh, two theaters in Bucharest, Romania. Uh, we took a, a play there two years ago called We Should Have Seen the Lights Already by Matei Vizniak. Um, we performed at Un Teatro, and it was really very successful. Wow. And we're looking for other international partnerships, it, most likely summer of 2020. Wow, that is super interesting to kind of be a part yeah. of a much larger thing. Um, now yeah, I'm so really it's, it's looking a, forward to it. the first leg, and we've been working on it for months. We've been working on the play for two years, but we've been seriously in rehearsal for the last three weeks or so. And I have some really amazing actors, actors I've worked with for years, super physical, really interesting actors, uh, including Vasily Futur and Aaron Novak um, and Annie Meek Montgomery. Wow. So we've got an all-star cast, a world-class show, and an interesting ghost story that we have yet to see. So Thank you so much for uh, talking to us today, John, and uh, break a leg with the show. Hey, thanks, Cody. I look forward to seeing you there. Yeah, likewise.
So you hear that, folks. You can catch the Lincoln Dress uh, world premiere weekend right here at Siena College, uh, Friday and Saturday, the 28th and 29th at 8 p.m., and a Sunday matinee at 2. All ticket information you can find on Siena College's website through the Creative Arts Department. You can contact Siena's uh, theater producer, Dr. Krista Dennis, also a great uh, talent in our area. And you can yeah, check out. Awesome. Oh, absolutely. And you can also check out my radio page on Facebook, uh, DJ Code Red on WVCR 88.3. I'll be sharing all of the event information, and it's a great way to spend the weekend. So definitely get out and see the Lincoln dress. Uh, Thank you so much again for coming in, John. Thank you, Cody. I really appreciate it. And to segue into some more ghost-like themes, uh, Stevie Wonder, Superstition, here on WVCR 88.3, the station that truly plays anything.